Welcome back guys and in this video we are going to continue the previous video only and in the previous video we moved to ebay.com and of the homepage of the ebay.com we took the screenshot of the homepage of the ebay.com right so in the previous video we created the object of the file class named as screenshot file and then we use the get screenshot as method and uh, took the screenshot right the output type of the screenshot was file so we provided the output type as file right now uh, to screen uh, to save the screenshot we use the you know file utils class and then we provided the destination right so here you can see the destination look at my mouse pointer this is the you know uh, folder we created here screenshot and screen.png was the name of our screenshot so if I click over here, you can see the ebay.com screenshot, homepage screenshot, right? Let me move to the script once again. So in the previous video, uh, I told you that uh, we are creating, you know, object of the, uh, you know, file class here. But why? I forgot to tell you because if I hover over my mouse over the copy file method, so you can see that in the copy file method, the, both the, you know, source file, that means that the screenshot file, the object where our, you know, screenshot got saved and then the destination file, both are of file type. You can see here file and file, right? So we need to create the object of the file class. So this is the particular way in which you save the screenshot, right? So the problem in the last video was that once, you know, the screenshot has been taken, then if again, I want to take the screenshot, for example, let me save the script. And then if again, I take the screenshot, then, you know, this particular screenshot was not overwritten by the new screenshot or, you know, you can say that the new screenshot was not getting saved, but we were, you know, again and again viewing this particular screenshot only, right? So let me run and show you running the script now you will see that chrome uh, browser will open because we have invoked the chrome browser and then ebay.com will open and then it will take the screenshot but it will not be able to save the new screenshot over the last or the previous screenshot so let the script run so the script is running and chrome you know browser open and once again, it opened the same home page. Otherwise, I would have shown you uh, in the previous video. I have shown you clearly that it was not able to overwrite it. Right. So let me close it. And it is, you know, not saving another, you know, any other screenshot. It is the previous screenshot only. Right. So why this is happening? We want that every time when we take the screenshot, it should create a separate file. Right. So or it should at least overwrite this particular you know uh, old screenshot right but we want to create separate files for our every screenshot we take right so in order to do this we you know use the date class available in java so you just write date and create the object of the date class so date and then you can write the object as date or you can write as current date is equals to new and then date right so here we created the object of the date class sorry yeah okay importing the date class yeah import date uh from java.util okay not java.sql so use java.util and right and then we you know need to if you want to see let me write here so let me print the current date variable here right okay saving the script and let me show you how you know it prints the date so let me close it so you can you can see that here our date got printed right so this is how our date gets you know printed so if you want that your every screenshot gets saved separately in the screenshot folder destination folder given by you so you can assign date class which you know assigns the date and the time right so currently the time is 10 42 uh, 57 in the night so this time will be assigned to your every screenshot and hence 
different screenshot will be saved in your screenshot folder right so let me you know write the further script so now let me convert our this particular you know uh, uh, this particular current date variable to string and then we will you know add that particular string variable here in our you know destination file name and it will be saved accordingly and separately right so i'm writing here uh current date current date and then dot to string so this will convert our current date to string right and i'm saving this in a certain you know variable of string type so string and uh, uh, let me say date name date file okay date file so and then you will use this particular date file uh, variable and add this particular date file variable here and how will you do this let me show you so you will just provide a slash over here and then add that particular variable in order to add it you just need to provide a you know this particular double inverted comma and then write a concatenation operator and then provide that particular variable date file right so let me apply another plus so that it gets concatenated perfectly and yeah okay so it has been added right so let me save the script so now you will see that every screenshot which i take and as many times as i run the script a new screenshot will be saved so let me run the script and show you right so script is running okay and script run let me close it uh, let me see what's the exception the file name directory name so let me see so it shows that uh, you know basically file name is incorrect so let me change the format okay so uh, okay the uh, you know the script is having a problem to change the current date to string why because you know it, it there are spaces in between and when there are spaces it is unable to change a particular date format to string right so let me uh, write here current date to string and then replace these spaces by okay so i'll write here replace an old character to new character right so i'll write here spaces to be replaced by um let me replace it by uh, this right a dash and then again replace uh, wait for a while yeah replace colons by um yeah again a dash so let me save the script and now our date will be you know saved uh, with you know spaces removed and colons removed and then it will be able to be changed to string right so let me save the script once again properly and then run it so the script is running once again and let us see that whether our screenshot gets saved uh, without any error or not right so let me close the script okay i hope so script has you know ran properly let me refresh this particular project refresh and yeah you can see that wednesday jan 11 22 right so let me run it once again and it will save another file right so now we can see that as many times as we take the screenshot our file is saving with a particular timestamp right so let me refresh it once again and you can see another uh, you know screenshot got saved so this is something different okay and this is something different taken at a different time and this is something different right so this is how you use the date class and uh, you basically take different screenshots so you can see that i you know was unable to first convert the date to the string format and why this happened because i did not convert the spaces with this particular dash and i also replaced the colon with this particular dash right so it was able to be converted to string so this is how you know when you practice a lot you get to know that where the error can be so i recommend you to practice daily 
and so that you can you know work out with the errors which are coming by your own okay so we'll meet in the next video till then keep learning keep revising and thank you